every day it, it changes. Would you believe yep. that my life is stullified? Not every morning I'll wake up at 6 a.m. mind you. And if I don't get up, guess who wakes me up? I can tell you it is not my partner. I can tell you that it is a in the mail because I want to be wealthy. So I'm thinking I'm going to have that positive affirmation every day. But the cat will, if I don't get out of bed and she's like that, she will pull me up on me and then nudge and try and get me up. And then it gets to the stage that she's actually know, knows how to actually roll me out of bed. And this is a tiny That's just the morning. Then I've got to handle the magpies. The magpies will greet me. Now, I have two choices in the morning. If I catch the bus, which is like, I can catch one or two buses. I still got to catch two, but that's not the point. But one walk is straight uphill, like a 90 degree angle. And I'll tell you, it hurts my legs. But guess what? I'm getting fit because my patients are getting tired of the wounds. I've lost five, almost six. I'm so proud of myself. So walking up the hills like this or down like this, oh, it's just effortless. But then you get to work. Now I start my day at 8.30 and I don't finish until 6.00. A clock at night. And you know, it's long. It's exhausting. And sometimes I just want to cool up and pop the sleep. But do you think I have that luxury? Uh uh. I don't think so. I think that. I have met, met very interesting people. Now, for some of you know, I live in Canberra. And every day I have to hand out pamphlets to different people on the street. And it's interesting the way you interact with different people. I recently met a group of three people down the main drag in Civic, which is the main shopping area. And they always, without fail, were always there, sitting around and just yarning. And I really enjoy occasionally, I'll sit down and have a yarn with them. And they tell you their heartfelt stories. And uh, uh, only the other day, had a gentleman say that he was a stolen generation, he was taken away from his family, and I sat and listened to his story, and we were from the same tribe. And then he said, 
or do you know what this means? And I said, absolutely. And then when I told him what it meant, he goes, oh. He said, and he said, because that another person came to my talk and they were troubled. And what I shared with him was, if you see this particular animal cross your path, it's warning you that there could be trouble. And there was. So he's like, when, when I told him my explanation, he's going, oh, and so I was so privileged to share culture and knowledge and you meet different varieties of people. So I know my life is not Spotify at all. Back to me. Thank you.